Now that we have a clear understanding of discipleship and how it influences the life of believers, let us go into a much deeper part of the conversation. Have you ever wondered how people can be in church for 50 years and never grow in Christ? They can hold numerous positions in the church and denomination, but never look more like Jesus. It boils down to one word, culture. Many people in congregations think that discipleship is the product of conversations and credentials, but actually it's a matter of culture. To better teach this principle, let's look at all three elements. Conversations speak to what a person plans to do. In essence, it's a proposed strategy. Discussions on discipleship may describe what it looks like or even the intended actions and commitments that can lead to discipleship. However, without follow through, they become empty words and fruitless dialogue. Credentials refer to what a person has been trained to do. This may speak to certifications, degrees, special courses, or any other training a person has acquired. Unfortunately, training may provide a more significant intellectual understanding and proficiency in that area, but at its core, it's just academic knowledge. It's only as effective on its own in discipleship as reading a dieting plan is effective in removing pounds. Without application, it may swell the knowledge base, but will not transform the learner's lifestyle. Culture, on the other hand, refers to how a person thinks and acts. It points to who a person is. Your culture creates the foundation that determines which habits, lifestyles, and beliefs are not adopted or are adopted. It is the basis that defines what sticks. Culture influences discipleship so much that Jesus selected his followers based on the culture they presented when he encountered them. Based on culture, Jesus invited a sinful fisherman with the right raw habits and qualities of surrender and at the same time denied a man who professed his willingness to follow Jesus but had a hand on the plow and a heart for his past. Jesus knew that discipleship is best adopted when the culture is right, not the conversation or credentials. Many of us need to consider culture as the critical factor in producing a change in our lives. Take a moment and consider your culture. Are you confident or are you timid? Are you a listener or are you always the one who has to lead the conversation? Can you follow the leader or do you always have to be right? Can you work with others or do you have to work alone? Know that your culture will always make your conversation surrender its habits and bend your credentials to its method of operation. Have you ever noticed that your promises and your best plans always get swallowed by your culture? For this discussion, take a moment and answer the questions on the worksheet. This is the most pivotal discussion you will have concerning your discipleship. We'll end here and see you in the next session. God bless you.